My name's Craig. I'm the creator of Darcel. Uh, I'm an illustrator. I've been, I am in a collective called Rinsum. It's a collective of five that started in Australia. Uh, this is our 10 year anniversary together this year. Uh, and Darcel, I guess, is kind of my fun side project. Darcel is uh, sort of a, a representation of me, a, a more excitable representation of me. Uh, He's kind of a miserable character that goes around New York, going to exhibitions, going shopping. Just the small things that every single person does, but he writes it down, basically. And it just explores how disappointing small things are, how disappointing big things are, and how you can get small moments of happiness sometimes, too. They make you feel a little bit better about yourself. This is him, this is Darcel. So, uh, when I created him, I, I wanted to create a character that I could draw easily, so I could do lots of illustrations on my blog. And a black circle, a black egg shake is the simplest thing I could think of. <laughs> if I'm walking around and I see something, like it's, if I know I have to draw a dust illustration that day and I, I'm walking to work and I see some crazy man yelling at a hot dog vendor, I know that I can go to my computer and because he's so simple, execute it. I just wanted to do something that, yeah, as I said, I didn't want to stress about. I just wanted to have fun doing it and keep it fast so I could keep doing new dances all the time. Influenced by artists like Jeff Koons, Yoi Kusama, Koz, Takashi Murakami, big prominent artists in the, you know, in the industry today. And the dudes I worship, a little bit of pop, a little bit of art. Darcel, <laughs> standing there. I wanted to include uh, motifs that appear regularly on the blog. Like, he always carries this bag around saying, instead of have a good day, have a craft day. And I wanted to work with the sculptors that made this, Toykyo, they're from uh, Belgium. And they do, they've worked with lots of amazing artists before. And so I wanted to work with them in creating uh, the best Darcel I could make. <laughs> like, steel legs. Uh, this is like a polyurethane, this is like a polyurethane too, so it's got lots and lots of coats of car paint to make it super shiny. A big varnish over the top. And a plate to hold him up. <laughs> this painting is called One God Too Many. It's about having too many vices in your life and never being able to choose between them. So eating badly or skating or drinking champagne. It's about indulging in everything and not having to choose on one thing. After, when I get back to New York, I'm going to start working on Darcel's Guide to New York. So it'll be a kind of a sarcastic view of what to do in New York and what not to do, probably more specifically. And then uh, I guess eventually I'll do other cities like Paris and London. And also with Rinzen, my collective, I have lots of projects to work on too, separate. I feel so lucky to be able to show here. It's Colette, it's one of the coolest, it's the coolest store in the world, so yeah, it's fantastic.